black is someone else. Thank you, Caitlin. So internally, we believe that we have a great idea that is going to do awesome things in Hickory because we are young college kids who are hungry and really want to see Foodie Call succeed. And one of the main reasons we know it's going to succeed is because no one else knows the target market like us. Our uh, customers are college kids, pretty much. There are kids in Hickory between the ages of probably 15 to uh, 25 and also outside that range as well that are hungry and want food but don't have the means to get there or aren't able to get there. So we believe that with our service, we will be able to provide that food for them that no one else can do in Hickory. The only other service that does this is Uber Eats and they're not yet in these smaller markets. So we think that in Hickory and in other small division two campuses that uh, Foodie Call can really succeed. And now for our goals, uh, our first goal is to develop a brand name. We want people to know what Foodie Call is and know what an awesome service it is. And with that being said, we want at least 400 users at Lenore Ryan within the first year. We think that's very possible with the 1,800 to, to, to 2,000 kids that attend Lenore Ryan. Our second goal is to expand to another school, the South Atlantic Conference, which is a Division II conference, and reach another one of those smaller markets that Uber Eats will not be at. And now, Ryan Sager is going to talk about our marketing strategy. Our primary demand or our target market, like Ben touched on, are college students here at Lenore Ryan University. Um, a lot of college students here may have transportation, a lot of freshmen campering their cars on campus. So what we're looking to do is be able to deliver them service late at night. A lot of the fast food chains may not uh, deliver, and they're the ones that stay open later. So what we're looking to do, our product strategy is deliver, uh, be a late night food delivery service that can bring them this food if uh, they're hungry late at night. Our, prod, our pricing strategy is a surcharge of 250 with their order. So whatever you order, whatever your final price is, we have a 250 surcharge on top of that. And our idea is to work out uh, deals with chains like Cookout and as we prove ourselves in the market, other fast food chains in the future and continue to move down that line. And now Colin's gonna to talk to you about the marketing implementation. Thanks, Ryan. So one of the biggest structural issues that we're having at this time is a lack of capital. Uh, right now, Foodie Call is a small startup business and that is the biggest issue that we have come across. And with that comes issues with tactical marketing activities. Right now, we're mainly relying on uh, word of mouth and social media to get our name out there and to be recognized. But once we have some capital, we plan to move on to different marketing strategies. And we really want to go into apparel, koozies, lanyards, stickers, and more. And with those kind of uh, articles of clothing and stickers and stuff like that, we can distribute them on campuses and really get our name out there and known. And now Mike's gonna talk a little bit more about how we're gonna audit some of those marketing, marketing activities. Thanks, Colin. So, what Colin was just explaining is the activities that we want to do, but as a company, we want to be able to monitor the activities so that way we know what's effective moving forward and what's not. And the way we're going to do that is with marketing audit. Marketing audits using formal and informal controls. For example, or more simply put, <clears throat> as a company, we want to know what activities we're doing, who's doing them, how much we're spending on them, and the time period in which the activity is being done. So that way we can track, oh, excuse me, and we also want to know the sales before, during, and after each activity, like I said, so we can move forward and understand what's effective and what's not. <clears throat> uh, pretty much what we're trying to get at is that since the company is in its infancy, we're trying to push the brand name and create an image uh, of young, ambitious students who are looking to expand the company as soon as possible. I'll blow this up, but. This is our marketing plan. Uh, thank you for attending. If there are any questions, we'd be happy to take them at this time. Thank you.